says Obama is the soft face of imperial corporate power. He's a brand, uh, and he functions very effectively as a brand. Uh, I have long argued and believed that the personal narratives of presidential candidates is meaningless. Uh, if you look at all of the major structural issues, there is complete continuity from the Bush administration to the Obama administration, and that's because these individual figures have very little power. Uh, the way the American political system is configured now, it is impossible to vote against the interests of Goldman Sachs. You can't do it. Um, or Exxon Mobil, uh, or Raytheon, or uh, you know, all of those people who profit by uh, continuing these endless wars in the Middle East. Um, so. Uh, I think that, the, that, that unfortunately, um, uh, because of Obama's rhetoric, people spend a little too much time listening to his rhetoric and not watching what he does, which is all that counts. Uh, and what he does is really repugnant and awful. Uh, I'm less forgiving of Obama uh, because uh, he's a constitutional lawyer. Unlike our previous president, he's not a moron. Uh, he understands what he's doing. Uh, he's conscious of what he's doing in a way that I think George Bush was pretty checked out on most stuff. And, um, uh, and that makes him, for me, a deeply cynical figure. Uh, you know, I have long uh, railed against the liberal class and the left uh, for not standing up. And one day, if we lose this case, and if there are widespread street demonstrations and unrest, as there inevitably will be, um, the economy continues to erode. Uh, despite the sort of Potemkin statistics that they throw at us. Uh, the uh, climate change is accelerated beyond the predictions of most climate scientists, even the ones who are very dire. Uh, Stiglitz, Joseph Stiglitz, uh, the Nobel Prize a laureate economist, calls now climate change our most important economic issue. He's right. Um, eventually, there will be blowback. And, and, and they want to be able to call the military into the streets uh, and seize American citizens and hold them without due process. You know, Judge Forrest, in her 112-page opinion, when she issued a ruling, brought up the issue of the 110,000 Japanese Americans who were detained uh, during World War II and stripped of due process. As uh, th th this uh, provision within the NDAA essentially opens the door for that possibility.